Hi guys! I'm like so, so super excited to be doing this video. This is my 10,000 subscriber acknowledgement, appreciation, my journey, and of course a little bit of a giveaway. But I just want to say that before I get into the giveaway and, and all of that, there's, there's really no rules. I should say that up front. You just have to be subscribed to my channel. That, that's all. I'd love it if you rang the notification bell. That would make it extra special. But the only rule is that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. 10,000 subscribers. I hit that number in late August. I was... I was like over the moon. I was like over the moon because it seemed like it was taking a long time to ever get there. And the interesting thing for me is that I am a very small goal driven person. So I, I create my goals in small little steps. So like for example, you know, I get to 500 subscribers, you get to 1000, you get to 1100. So we'd always have those little small steps. And that's really how I kind of looked at it. And I figured as long as I was creating content then and people were watching my videos or some people were watching my videos then I was like super happy because I never went into my YouTube journey thinking 10,000 subscribers or 20,000 or whatever those magic numbers are. I never really went into it with that thought at all and I never went into it with the idea of getting free products or you know making money or any of the things that I know some people are driven and motivated by on YouTube and that's perfectly fine. Everyone has their own sort of big why. But my why has always been I absolutely love doing videos and my whole adult life I've loved doing videos. So YouTube's not new to me. Many of you know that. I started my YouTube channel in 2009. 2009. Prior to that, I was using my husband's YouTube channel. Prior to that, I was just putting videos on my blog, my real estate blog. So I started that and I just started uploading content slowly but surely. I started to get in the videos, which I hated. But when I go back, I'm going to try to find one of my very first videos and link it here. It's kind of really kind of a, um, it's really awful. <laughs> It's really, really, really awful. So if I find the link, the link I'll put it in a, a little card thing up there. But I had joined a video group with Buzz and that was it was a homework assignment and I was not comfortable being in the frame. I like being behind the camera, taking the pictures and doing the videos, but you didn't want to be in it. So that was a real great exercise. But anyways, along my journey to 10,000 subscribers, I have learned so much. And one of the biggest things that I feel that I have really learned is that YouTube is truly a community. And there are some people that really enjoy the community and there are some people that kind of play the community. There's some that try to manipulate the community. And that's, that's fine. That's their why. That's their goal. That's their plan. And that's fine. But actually developing relationships with some fellow YouTube content creators, but more importantly, with all of you guys that watch my video. And I know there's many of you that watch the videos that you're not necessarily subscribed. You don't leave comments at times. Maybe sometimes you pop in and that's, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. But it's absolutely amazing to me that video in and video out. I have so many of you that come back that you watch my videos and that you leave me comments. It's so heartwarming to hear your comments and it is really what inspires me. So in my journey to 10,000, I have had some shout outs um, which obviously help to bring people to your channel and I remember my very first shout out was and I always mention this because I'll never forget it, it was Mary Ellen after 60 she had shouted me out because there was something I talked about that she thought was really cool so she didn't shout me out because she liked me or just because but it was because I gave something to her I added some value to her at that point in time product that I was talking about how I was using it, it was actually care prost but 
Anyway, she was my very first shout out. And I had, I think I gained, I don't even remember how many subscribers had come over from originally from Mary Ellen's channels. And when I, when I said to Mary Ellen, thank you so much. And she said something to me that I've never forgotten. She said that basically she just shined a light. It's up to me to keep it lit. I don't know if those are the words she used, but that's how I'm going to summarize it. So she can highlight and people can come over and look. If they don't like what they're seeing, um, if my channel goes in a different direction and they don't like it, they leave. I mean, I've done that. You know, there was a content creator I tried to help a lot. I really tried to inspire her. I felt really close to her. And then her channel took a whole 90 degree angle. I didn't like the new direction of her channel. I didn't continue to watch. And I don't expect anyone to watch me if they don't like me or what I'm talking about. So I always remembered that from Mary Ellen, always. And since that, that shout out, I've had a few others and I've collabed with some wonderful, wonderful ladies. And I've developed some really wonderful friendships from content creators and a lot of acquaintances. But I never forgot my why. I never forgot my why. And my why is because I actually enjoy this process. I enjoy shooting videos. I enjoy sharing parts of my lifestyle, even my vlogs. I love doing my vlogs and I know that a lot of people don't like them, but I like doing my vlogs. I like sharing those little bits and pieces of my life. I enjoy it. I enjoy practicing on editing. Uh, I enjoy that whole content creator. I wish I was better. I wish I had better equipment. I wish I was better set up. I am what I am. I am me and I enjoy it. I enjoy this process and so, for me to sit back and go, wow, 10,000, I know that's a big milestone for many, many content creators. They, they, um, their goal is to achieve that 10,000. And, uh, and I, I'm so blessed that I'm here at 10,000, but I also know, oops, I also know that I have to, you know, continue to grow and continue to provide you some value when you come to visit me. And so that's a challenge and I'm up for that challenge. I'm up for that challenge. I'm not a numbers person. I'm not super driven by how many numbers I have or how much money I have. I'm, I'm driven by the feel good. I'm, I'm a very much a positive person. The glass is half full, never half empty. I always try to look the good, look for the good. And so the good of being here at 10,000 is that I have been along the way very, very lucky to have had some brands recognize me some early on. Like for example, one of my favorite brands, Blink. Early on, they, they recognized me and asked me if I wanted to initially try their eyelash serum. I had never heard of them at that point in time. So I said, yes, I would. And they sent me a few of, of their eyelash serums to try. I tried it, I talked about it, I loved it, I bought some, I continued to talk about it. I got more sent to me. And the same thing with Adore. And I, I'm gonna mention these two because these two companies, both Blink and Holly from Adore, have contributed products for my giveaway. So Adore, you know, I, I, I think I had met the owner of Adore, Holly, at, in a, uh, online group a long time ago and she reached out to me and she said you know we'd love to send you some some free products for you to try and I have a form letter that I send back whenever because I get a ton of different companies I've never heard of but I have a form letter that I send back which says a number one I don't do sponsors videos on products that I don't know about that I don't feel comfortable with I, I'm not going to give a dedicated video I don't know your product I don't this and this and this I'll um, open your product up, I'll use it, I'll talk about it. And if I don't like it, I don't like it. If I like it, I like it. Those are my terms. And some brands, when they, when they, when I send them that form letter back, they I never hear back from them and others, I do. So the ones that I do, you know that, I mean, Trophy Skin recently, you know, I was like, holy mackerel. But I, I had told Trophy Skin from the get-go, I'd love to try it, I love your products. I absolutely love my Microderma Brage and I love all my Trophy Skin products. So when they said, they asked me about the red light therapy, it was like all over it. And they didn't have any stipulations. So I really, really like that. So Adorai, in celebration of the, the um, and this is gonna come directly from Holly to you, whomever my winner is. She is going to send, because this I used, this was awesome. This is the Baby Foot Exfoliation Foot Peel in conjunction with her foot cream. Oh my God. 
oh my god so if you're going on vacation or if it's getting ready for a season change like you're going into sandals from from winter do this a couple of weeks before because your feet will peel like crazy i did this i think i did this like about maybe two months ago now i'd have to look back at the date and i used the cream afterwards i'm all out of the cream i love it love it love it but i used the cream afterwards and I just love how my feet are. I just love how my feet have been able to be maintained. I just recently went for a pedicure and the lady at the salon said, wow, you, should, you, should, you have no calluses on your feet. Your feet are absolutely beautiful. And I was like, hmm, what do you think it was this? So Holly is going to send whoever you are, whoever my lucky winner is in this contest, she's gonna send this foot peel and these two, these two creams. Now, I was like absolutely thrilled when I reached out to Blink and they said, yes, we'll absolutely send you something. So they sent me two eyelash serums, two packages of really adorable false eyelashes. They're called Pink Crocodile Lashes. <laughs> Pink Crocodile Lashes. And they're absolutely wonderful, wonderful brow product. I love this. I have this. I've been using this. I love, love, love this. So this is going in the giveaway. And this was 100% provided by Blink. And also from Holly from Adore, which I'm absolutely thrilled with. The rest of my giveaway, I don't want this to be too long. Um, no, you're not getting jewelry, but this is full. None of jewelry. But some of this are, I have palettes in here. Uh, some of this came from my boxy charm. And then there's also some things that I purchased that I really liked. I've got an eye, a mascara in here. I believe I have, and this is a really hard color to come by. This is the Prohibition Pink Scandal Eyes. If you're lucky enough to find this, I have one of those in here. I have another set of false eyelashes in here. I have creams. I have pixie if you like pixie peel and polish i have face masks everything in here that i'm showing you has not been used it's all brand new a set of brushes i think this came from boxycharm um, another pixie product anyways pretty vulgar bronzer pretty vulgar face blush i have a lot a lot of stuff in here and I'm, this is really heavy. This is a really heavy bag. So I'm sure Jay's going to go, oh my gosh, unbelievable. But this, I'm just like so, so thrilled. Um, the rules are very simple. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you thumbs up the video. Make sure you leave me a comment telling me you want to be entered into the giveaway. Then you're going to have to make sure that you check back because I'm going to, I'm not too sure if this is going to go public on... Uh, maybe Thursday um, I have to look at the date Thursday I'm filming this on a Saturday and I think today is September 21st so I think it's going to go public on Thursday and I'll let it run for about maybe a week you have to again be subscribed leave me a comment telling me you want to be entered and thumbs up the video and anything else you want to tell me you can tell me I, I'm yeah, I think that'll be really great. I'm not going to respond to anyone. So if you have a specific question, please leave it on a previous video. But I will read all your comments. I'll heart all your comments. And then at one point when um, when the contest is over, I will close it for comments. And I will then do a random picker and I will, would one, I will select one of you. Now, unfortunately, this has to be continental U.S. only because, yeah the overseas shipping and all of that can be a little bit crazy so continental us only i'm so sorry because i know i have so many of you that watch me from overseas but i'm sure you can understand that's a heavy heavy bag full of all sorts of stuff so anyways guys heartfelt thank you heartfelt thank you because every step along the way and you know when you're here for as long as i have been 2009 and granted the first few years, I never, I mean, I uploaded videos. I just felt it was a place to deposit my videos. I, I didn't spend a whole lot of time on YouTube. But when I started to really appreciate the community, I started to go out, watch a lot of other videos and help try to support some other content creators. It's impossible to watch everyone's video. So if, if you know, there's a, a content creator that I enjoy, I try to watch as many as I can, but sometimes it's one every third or fourth video. Uh, you know, I'm, it's just impossible. I wish I was retired and had time on my hands but 
I'm not. I work full time, so time is always a little bit of an issue. So anyways, I'm going to stop blabbling and I'm going to um, just tell you all good luck. I can't wait to find out who wins all of this wonderful stuff. And it is wonderful. I'm super excited about it. So thank you all so much, guys.